Hey everyone, Paolo here, so welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, we're going to learn how to connect to a Postgres SQL server, um, particularly Heroku, using your client. So as a recap, on the previous tutorial, if you haven't watched it, we installed a Postgres app, which installs a local Postgres SQL server on your machine. And then we use the command line or the terminal to connect to that uh, PostgreSQL server. Uh, on the next tutorial, I'll drop a link below, we install the Postico, which is a PostgreSQL client. So it has a graphical user interface, which allows you to connect to the PostgreSQL server. So we're going to use this tool and uh, connect to the Heroku PostgreSQL server. So let me open Postico. So this is Postico. Um, if I open this couple of uh, exercise that I did on the previous tutorial, it connects to the local host. Uh, it has the username, doesn't have password, and then the database. Similar here, it has those options. There's an option to save the keychain, which I'll explain later. So let's try adding the Heroku database here. So if I go to my Heroku tab here, I have a particular database that I want to connect to. So if I go to my settings, what I need in particular are the credentials. So if I expand this, I need the host, the database, the username, port, and the password. So I could manually create a new favorite on Postico and copy and paste all of these details and add it here. But I don't want to do that. There's a better way of doing that. So let me delete that. So the better way is using the connection URI. So if I copy this whole connection URI and open the terminal, let me open both so you could see what's happening here. So from the terminal, I just say open and then paste that uh, connection URI from Postgres. As you can see, it detected my Postico. Uh, it prompted me about the certificate, but since I know that the certificate uh, this URI is using a particular self-signed certificate. Since I know that um, I copied it from Heroku, I kind of trust it. I could install this locally, but th that's for a different topic. So if I click connect, there you go. So it connected to the Postgres database. If I expand this Salesforce folder here, I would see several tables here. What I'm particular are the accounts and contact table, which I manually created there. So if I open the contact, you would see um, all the data on that contact. Um, you could also see the type and a DDL if you need to. So if I go back here, um, let's go back to the folder and show the account. So same thing with the account. And then I could go with the query if I want to um, and all those stuff. So at least so you have a very nice uh, graphical user interface to check the data in your database using this client. Um, let me exit this and show you a little bit more. So if I open this, uh, you would see that uh, it auto-populated this information for us and also did the save it in the keychain. So what that did is it save it on your keychain. So if you copy this user and type it in there, you would see it got saved here, or particularly on the password. So if you don't want that to be saved in the keychain and you want it to manually enter the password, uh, you can do that as well. Delete it here and do it there. The other options here are the if you want to if your database is uh, on a tunnel, you could connect via SSH, or if you have your own um, particular certificate that you want to use you could do that as well so there you go simple way to connect to a heroku postgres uh, database using postico so hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have some questions or comments leave them on the comment section below and please subscribe to my youtube channel